Today I'm going to be showing you an AI agent that can actually accept both voice and text as the input. And then it will also respond to us with both a text output as well as a voice output. Now, just so you know, I'm going to be using an Airbnb guest assistant as the example for this agent. But let's hop right into the demo for this agent. So you can see here, I sent a text uh, message as the input, just asking what are the check-in procedures. So you see we get the text response back, the check-in information, the time, the self-check-in process, and then additional information as well. And then we receive this audio message. Check-in procedures for your stay are as follows. Check-in is at 4 p.m. or later, and check-out is by 11 a.m. For self-check-in, find the black lockbox by the front door. Enter code 5829 to access the key and return key to the lockbox upon departure. Early check-in may be available upon request, while late check-out can be arranged for $50 per hour. Contact for any questions. Enjoy your stay. So you can see here we got both the text and the output in the voice response. And the voice response actually summarizes the information. So it's not reading verbatim or word for word this text response here. It summarizes it and then gives us a condensed version when it's actually responding through the voice response. Now, I can also ask it a question through the voice chat. So I could say, what should I do in order to check out of the Airbnb location? So you can see it gives us the list of instructions, take care of the dishes, the trash, the food, set the thermostat, etc. Check out time here. And then here is the voice response. To check out of your Airbnb, please run the dishwasher, dispose of trash in the appropriate bins, discard perishable food, set the thermostat to 65 degrees for winter or 78 degrees summer, close and lock all windows and doors, turn off lights and return the key to the lockbox using code 5829. No need to strip beds or do laundry. The cleaning service will take care of it. Check out time is 11 a.m. Now I'm actually going to walk you through this entire workflow step by step and show you how you can download a free template for this workflow and then set it up so you can start using this yourself. Now before we get started, if you're a business owner looking to use AI agents inside of your own business, then book a meeting in the link in the description and I'll personally answer any questions you might have about using this technology inside of your business as well as give you some actionable steps and ways that you can actually leverage AI agents inside of your business. So without wasting any more time, let's get into building this workflow and showing you how you can set it up yourself. So we're going to start by going to the link in the description where I've linked a free template for this workflow. So you're going to download the JSON file, which is the template for this workflow. And then we're going to head over to this website called naden.io. We're going to create an account here or sign in if you already have one. Once you log in, you'll be brought to this overview page. So here we're going to go up to the top right and select create a new workflow, which will bring us to an open editor. Now, since you already have that JSON template, all you have to do is go up to the top right and select these three dots and then select import from a file. So you're going to select that JSON file that you just downloaded. And that will bring you to this open editor here with the entire workflow populated into your Inaden account. Now, the only thing you have left to do is actually connect your accounts for this agent. I'm going to walk you through that entire process of connecting your accounts and also show you all the different steps of this workflow and how it's actually working. So I'm going to start here on the left side with a telegram trigger. So Telegram is a messenger platform. It allows us to interact with this agent like you saw through text and through voice. And you can also do it on your laptop, like I'm doing now, or through your phone, which is very convenient. So I'm gonna open up this Telegram trigger. And the first thing you need to do is create a Telegram account. Now you can just create a free account. And then once you open your Telegram account, we are going to start a conversation with what is called the botfather. So the username is at botfather can see here and we're gonna do forward slash start and that might happen automatically so then you get a list of commands the command that we're gonna use is new bot so forward slash new bot will walk you through naming that bot and then it will give you a link to actually start messaging it now before we click off the screen we need to copy this API uh, access token here so copy this bit of text just like this and then we're gonna go over into Inaden, create new credential, and then paste in that API key into this access token space here. Click save, and then you're good to go. We can start interacting with our agent through the bot. So up next, we have an if statement. So this just routes the workflow down two different paths. 
So the upper path here you can see is the voice input. So if we send a message that is a voice message through Telegram, it routes down true and goes up here. And if we send it via text, it routes down false and goes to the text input on the bottom. And what we are doing is we are just seeing if a voice file ID exists. So if the voice file ID exists, then that means we sent a voice message. So that's the logic behind that. The I'll start with the top one. So the voice input, we are getting an audio file. So we are filling in with a variable here. So this is going to be our same account. The resource is the file, and we're getting that file. And the file we're going to get is the file that was just sent in through the voice file ID here. So we can click out of that. And then what we're doing here is we're using an open AI step to uh, transcribe a recording and then this is automatically set to data. You don't have to worry about changing any of this. The only thing we have to do is connect your OpenAI account, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. So we're just getting the file that is sent from the previous Telegram step, and we are transcribing that recording into text. So to connect your OpenAI account, you need to select on the credential, create new credential, and then we need to get this API key here. So to do that, we're going to look up OpenAI API, Mine pops up with an overview here, so I'm just going to click on the OpenAI API page. You might have to log in here, but once you do, we're going to go to Dashboard at the top, go over to the left side, select API keys, create a new secret key, ask you to name it, and then you're going to write that key down somewhere because it does not allow you to view that key again. But you don't want to share this because it is actually connected to your OpenAI account. So copy that secret key. And then we can go back to Inadin, and you're going to paste in that secret key into this API key section here. We can just leave everything else the same. We don't have to do anything there. Click Save, and then that will connect to your account. So we can click out of the OpenAI step there, and then I'll walk you through what this text input is actually doing. So we are just setting the variable, which is JSON message text. So that is the text input from the Telegram chat. We're just mapping that uh, value to a, another variable called text, or we are setting a variable called text to the value that was passed in through the Telegram chat. And I'll show you what this is actually doing inside of the agent prompt here. So if we open up the prompt for the agent, very simple, two lines right here. So this is the prompt. We're saying you should help with the following question from the guest. And then this is json.txt. So this is a variable. And as you can see, it's called json.txt. Now, what this is doing is it is referring to the variable passed in through the OpenAI uh, transcribed recording. So when it transcribes a recording, it assigns that recording to a variable called text. And what we're doing here is we're assigning a variable by the exact same name, text, to have the value of the text message. So if we type text into Telegram, it's going to assign that same text message value to a different variable called text, but that allows us to reference the same variable for both the trans uh, the transcribed recording and the uh, text message here that is sent through actual text. This just allows us to refer to the same variable, but it represents each of these values depending on which path it was routed down. Then the system message, you're just an assistant tasked with helping Airbnb guests. So not too complicated. Uh, this is just for the sake of showing you how to process both types of input. So up next, we have the OpenAI chat model. You won't have to do anything here because you've already connected your OpenAI account. This is a Pinecone vector store. And this just allows the agent to reference the vector store to actually answer questions just, just, just for the sake of the example. Uh, I have other videos showing you how to set this up. If you check out my last one about the voice rag agent through 11 labs, I show you how to set up a Pinecone vector store and upload information to this. So I'm going to skip over this for now and then get into the response here. So then for the output of the agent, we are routing down two different paths. So we get the first response, which is the text response. And that just plugs in directly the output from the agent. 
So we're just sending the entire response from the agent back through uh, to the, the guest or the user in this case. And this is just sending back the entire response from this agent. Now you might have noticed, and I pointed it out too, when the voice response comes, it is a summary of the entire uh, text response. So we're not reading the entire text response, we're summarizing it and then reading a summary. And that is what this summarization chain does. So we're using the no previous nodes input, which is the agent, and that is in the form of JSON. And then simple, I just left everything else here the same. The model, we're using OpenAI again. You've already connected that. So what this does is it just takes the entire output, summarizes it, takes the key points, and then we feed in that summary into a OpenAI generate audio step here. So you can see your OpenAI account will already be connected, resources audio, generating the audio, model I just left as the TTS1, and then the text input, we're just responding with the, or sending in the response from the summarization chain here. And then the voice, you can change the voice. I just left it as the default one. That's just, I guess, who's reading it. But we can click out of this, and then we can go into the Telegram ch uh, step here. And what we're doing here is we're sending an uh, audio file. And then that's the chat ID for the chat, like before. The output from the generate audio, audio is called data. So I just left that. I think that was already there. And then the file name is the json.file name, which again, we got from the generate audio step here. So yeah, overall, not too complicated. Uh, it's just a couple key steps, like changing this text value here to allow it to access the same variable, and then summarizing the text and turning that summarization into the audio here, and then just sending that audio file back through Telegram, as well as the text response through Telegram as well. So. Not too complicated. If you have any questions, though, drop them in the comments below. If you got anything from this video, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Have a good one.